Well, Group A obviously begins with the host. It is a pretty balanced group, but I think it seems pretty top heavy in terms of Senegal and the Netherlands, two teams that have had a resurgence in their soccer prowess. But um, Qatar is looking to make some noise as they host their first World Cup. Yeah, Josh, I'd agree. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that Qatar is very much in a way underrated. The majority of these players play in the domestic Qatari Stars League. They all play together. The majority of them do. And they've been playing together for years. So Qatar has been prepping for this tournament, as we know, for just about a decade now. So expect them to do some big things. Josh, I don't necessarily see them advancing past the likes of a Senegal or Netherlands. What do you think? And it's, it's certainly a fast team and speed kills in just about every sport and none more than soccer, I believe. But it, it is going to be difficult with Senegal and the Netherlands up top. The Netherlands, with one of the deepest teams in this World Cup, they are one of my favorites to go very far. And that starts with their strong center back partnership of Virgil van Dijk and Matthias de Litt. That's exactly right. And one thing I want to touch upon is Senegal, African Cup of Nations champions, um, an extremely deep team coached by Cisse, who is a legendary coach for Senegal. They very well likely, I think, Josh, with Netherlands will advance with the Netherlands, the Dutch at the top of the group. I think you, if you look at Group A, I think the reverse order of where those are sitting right now is going to be how it plays out. Netherlands, I think, should want to run away with this group pretty easily. I think Senegal will give them a fight, though, with Sadio Mane up front and a great combination behind him of Ed Mendy and Kalidou Koulibaly, Napoli's captain, mm -hmm. who was captain Senegal as well will finish in second. Ecuador, still kind of a wild card in this group. They do have some World Cup experience, finished third in their group in the last in the la their last World Cup in 2014, led by the striker Enner Valencia, one of the leading scorers in Ecuadorian soccer history, will finish third. But I do think Qatar can put up a fight at the host. It's just a very difficult group to start off this World Cup numerically. I, I completely agree. Would it be fair to say that Senegal could be, if you even want to consider them, the dark horse of this tournament? I think that is... That's a good, I think that's a good statement. Senegal overcame a difficult Egypt team, keeping international mm -hmm. superstar Mo Salah out of the World Cup. But Senegal, it has a lot of talent. And we mentioned some of the key players on that team, but it, it's going to be difficult for them to beat the Netherlands. But I think they can certainly surprise some teams, maybe even win a game in the knockout stage. So is it fair to say, Josh, in the order, Netherlands first in the group, Senegal second. I'm going to go with Qatar third, and then Ecuador rounding out fourth place in the group. I think the I, I, Ecuador and Qatar, I think, could flip-flop easily. Ecuador mm -hmm. has the experience, but of course, Qatar does have the fans behind them. And I think they will be cheering quite loud for their home country in their first World Cup. And for any CONCACAF viewers or those who are subscribed to State of Soccer, you know that Qatar also played in the last edition of the Gold Cup. So a familiar foe to the United States men's national team as well as other uh, CONCACAF teams.